We are on board Carnival Celebration for a seven day voyage and we're opening the key packet. I'm gonna put that there, but I will pick it up, I promise. Uh, this should be a special key packet for me uh, because it is a milestone cruise and it's just the standard dining <laughs> card, but, but that's okay. I know it's the 50th cruise on Carnival Cruise Lines, which is a milestone, a major milestone, uh, super excited about. So let's jump on into the stateroom here at 11279 for a full tour. Let's head on in to 11279. The first thing I'll point out, Rocky, I need a key card. We're gonna put a key card in this slot to turn on the lights. And it does not matter which way the key card is on this ship, unlike MSC, where you have to have your barcode scanned. Ooh, it is a square stateroom here. We have stayed in this stateroom before. Oh, there's Rocky and me. Look at us. Hey. Um, you have got a ton of storage space on this counter. It's where our refrigerator is down there, some drawers to store stuff. There is a soda from the previous sailing, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, toss that. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, we've got the towels. We've got this uh, little bench that also, can you pull uh, that on out and show them what's inside? Hopefully we don't find any sodas in Hopefully, well. hopefully, it's, oh. oh. Um, it is a, that's where we're gonna put our dirty clothes. That's our sheets. Flip that over and show them uh, how we can use that onto the bed. What's up? Yeah, it's filthy. It's filthy, uh, unfortunately. So that um, can be used as a little table. Uh, we always recommend, here's a cruise tip, we always recommend bringing Clorox wipes because this is literally the experience we see here right now on board Carnival Celebration. That's disgusting. Um, it is actually sticky and spilled. I don't know what that is. Um, again, uh, we're going to, we've got this lovely vanity light here with tons of, and that mirror is just filthy, tons of outlets, um, USB, three outlets, and two more USB. You've got um, your glasses and waters and shelves, phone, of course, one glass. Oh, there's four. So I have no idea whose glass that is, but I don't plan to use it. Uh, and that's just dirty over there. Um, okay, um, sorry. Let's go on over here. Let's go over by the bed where we've got these uh, USB ports and little lights to light up the night. Those stands are on either side of the bed. We've got the <laughs> unpack and choose fun uh, bed protector for our luggage, another light and another stand. And I love these lights over by the bed. It just makes turning on and off the lights easy in your stateroom. Closets, Hooy! look at these closets. You hear me talk about this all the time on my Carnival Cruises, but I love how much storage we have in these closets. There's hanging storage, there are shelves. Hey, FYI, I heard someone say, I didn't know that you could flip this up and pull it down as a shelf. I heard someone say that, so I wanted to share that tip with you right now in here. You can add shelves if you'd like, or you can put that up and just use it as another hanging storage. Of course, you've got your safe, you've got your pull-out drawers, and you've got your shoe drawer down here. Uh, again, we're gonna wanna wash that out before we put anything in it, it's dirty. You've got some hooks, which are lovely to hang coats and, and towels on the back of the door. And then we've got the carnival celebration bathroom. We fell in love with this bathroom on Mardi Gras. It is small, but it's got the full glass shower door, which we love. Hello, YouTube. You've got um, some shelves and some hidden storage back behind all of the towels and in this little cabinet down here. Um, and again, just we love the showers on this class of ship. Tons of space. Keep in mind, I, I mentioned it already when I walked in and I'm gonna turn it around. Uh, I'm gonna turn this camera around so you can see it is a square room. So it is, it's a little bit of an odd shaped design, but we love it. The one thing to keep in mind, the one thing to keep in mind is there is a nightlight that is built into the bathroom that stays on always. And so keep in mind that that light will always be on. So this square room, in this square room, the bed faces the bathroom, so there will be a glow from the bathroom uh, whenever you are in bed. So just keep that in mind if you are a light sleeper. Pack, pack an eye mask. And that's it. That is 
two something. Seven nine. That's eleven two seven nine on board Carnival Celebration. We'll give our full review at the end of the week. And I'm going to turn this air on. Whew, thank you. I don't know about you all, but that was painful to watch back. That tour, uh, the first day that we were on board Carnival Celebration, uh, that was not a great experience. There was a lot of discovering. You saw that we had uh, some leftover soda sitting in our refrigerator. Uh, we had to wipe down the mirror because it was spotty. The countertops were dirty. Sticky. There was some sticky material. Yeah. Uh, and they left, Mark mentioned that there was one uh, drink glass on the counter, but there was actually a champagne flute mixed in with the other glasses on the shelves, which was also very strange. A used champagne flute, mind you. And yeah. so uh, fortunately in 50 cruises, which uh, this was my 50th cruise, this was the this was by far the worst uh, room we've had in terms of cleanliness, quite honestly. And so we uh, took our travel Clorox wipes, which are down in the, the description. Make sure you pack those on your cruise because yes. you never quite know what you're going to find. But one of the things that I loved the most about this cabin, and it's true on all of the Excel class cabins, the number of places to plug things in. Yes, there was tons of outlets. We didn't have to use any of our outlet splitters at nope. all. And there was great storage. Oh my gosh, those closets. I talk about the closets a lot on Carnival Cruise Lines, but on the Excel class especially, I love the pull-out drawer. I, just <laughs> great. Oh, yes. Overall, I love that room. It was a great cabin. And the location was easy when you wanted to get down to deck eight and yep. deck six and five, and where you had all of the fun activities going yep. on. Going up to deck 16 was a little bit of a challenge, especially for us since we used the stairs. 16, I'm thinking uh, going up to Serenity yep. upon 18. Yep. Uh, yeah, absolutely. If you uh, take the stairs only, just know that you've got a bunch, it's a big ship, you got a bunch of stairs up. Um, uh, in terms of the stateroom itself, uh, cleanliness was an issue, and yep. we really never saw our room steward. Yeah, he, that could he be, maybe that's why. Maybe he introduced himself when we first walked on yep. and we got things settled in, and then from there, every time we would see him in the hallway, there was never an acknowledgement, which was really strange was and strange. uncharacteristic for a carnival stateroom strange. steward. Contrast that to the experience I just had on Carnival Conquest the two weeks prior, where we had maybe one of the best <laughs> stateroom stewards ever. He would come by in the morning, he would come by again at night and make sure that our ice was filled up. I mean, that was a great experience. Yep. This was an, a less than perfect experience yeah. is what I would say. Now, of course, uh, I would never say don't book a cruise because uh, you might have to wipe something off of the counter. <laughs> Unless it's Margarita Blood Sea <laughs> Paradise. If you've got bugs in the sheets, don't. Yeah. I, I might yeah. not book that. <laughs> right. But overall, it was a great week. It was. We it was fantastic. Great sailing. Um, the, the glow from the nightlight. It was great. It was really not bad. No, not um, at all. I seem to remember it being brighter. Yeah. Maybe they've adjusted it. <laughs> um, but but truly, again, we have a we recommend this face mask down in the 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 description as well that we use on our sailings. Right. And honestly, we just close the door at night, so you don't have to worry about the light beaming into your eyes yep. while you sleep. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, sound insulation on the Excel class, great. great. Uh, you don't hear the announcements in the room unless you kind of crank open the door, which we love. Yep. Um, the bathroom. The bathroom was an Excel size bathroom. There wasn't much to it, but there was still great storage. You showered there. I did. I primarily just showered down in the, the gym or in the locker room yep. because there's an included sauna on the Excel class. I went to the gym several times, and so I just showered down in the locker room. Right. But the shower was just fine? Yeah, it was great. It was I mean, an Excel class shower. It was tiny, but it, it got the job done. <laughs> Overall, um, I don't think you can go wrong booking this room. There were no loud bangs. Mm -mm. There were no, uh, with the exception of debark morning, right. but that's true on any debark morning, I yeah. think. Uh, I think the luggage storage was directly behind our room, so yep. we heard a lot that last night. Right. Um, so it wasn't a great night of sleep that last night, no. but otherwise... We were a little concerned when we booked this cabin because of its location. It's right at the end of a hall, and then you have to turn and then jut down yep. another hallway. Yep. So there was a little bit of concern there, but honestly, I was really impressed. We yep. never really heard anything coming down that hallway or anyone smacking into the wall, so yep. that was really good. Plus... The closets backed up to that wall, so that was kind of an extra buffer, which we yeah. we liked. Closets in the bathroom overall, yeah. a great experience. Thanks for joining us in stateroom 11279. Good, I'm glad he remembered it. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye.